Hello my good friends, this is Buck Weezer coming at you today with another exciting video on YouTube with Buck Small Engine DIY and today I want to introduce you to a tool that I just picked up and I'm very happy to have. It's something I've been needing for a long time and I want to present it to you and try it out together. This is the Battery Analyzer by King Bolens. Now let's just stop and admit, first of all, that any company named King Bolin has to be cool. That's a really manly title. This is their battery analyzer, BM560. And they sent this product to me at no cost, solely on the condition that I would use it and do a video that I could share with all of you about this product. Beyond that, I'm receiving no compensation for this review. But anyway, I'm personally excited about it because this is the kind of tool I've been needing for a while. And right off the bat, I want to tell you a couple of things about it. First of all, and you see it here on the bench in front of me, the box came in, cables, the control module, another cable, and user's manual. What you see there, it's very, it's very compact. You know, you can carry this easily in your in your glove compartment or in your toolbox or in your back pocket you know it's it's really a very compact tool second thing is affordable you can buy this right now on amazon for 26.99 you know that's that's a that's a that's a pretty accessible price for most most of us um also it's very versatile you can test any kind of battery six or 12 volt battery of any kind with this battery analyzer and i'm going to admit to you that there's plenty of battery types that I am not familiar with. Um, I basically am familiar with, you know, your regular lawn and garden tractor battery, uh, wet cell. Um, here's one from automobile. And we're gonna test these here on the bench today. Um, but there's so many different kinds of batteries and I'm not familiar with them all. I did a little poking around online. This tool is very versatile. So for your lawn tractor, your automobile, your snowmobile, your ATV, um, whatever, whatever 12 or 6 volt battery, your electric mobility scooter, any 6 or 12 volt battery, you just have to know what kind of battery you have and if you go to replace it, you got to replace it with the battery recommended by the manufacturer. But this tool can analyze many different types of batteries. I also say this, uh, there's plenty of features on this battery analyzer that are beyond the scope of my knowledge and honestly interest. Uh, you can use this cable to transfer waveform images and data from the unit to your PC. Uh, that's, that's not anything that is accessible to me. I don't really know much about waveforms or how to read them. I don't really care so much about transferring that data to my computer, but I, I want to be able to test a battery in a tractor or an automobile and know if it's good or not. So that's the main reason that I want to use it. I, I won't be able to introduce you to all of its features. It has more features than I, than I understand or plan to use. So let's just go over today some of the main ones. Now we're going to we're going to start by analyzing a couple of batteries up here on the workbench. One from a garden tractor, another one from an automobile. And we're just going to have fun and see if we can, you know, learn how to use this tool and uh, see what kind of results we get. Let's start today by using the King Boland battery analyzer on this battery that I just pulled out of my wheel horse tractor. This battery I don't think is in good shape because it it'll register 12 volts when you put the voltmeter on it but it didn't have the muscle to crank my my wheel horse fast enough strongly enough and it wouldn't start the tractor so I swapped it out recently and I can see the manufacturer date here April of 2018 so this is a you know this is uh, almost five and a half years old and uh, I know that if I use my my multimeter and just test it for DC volts and, and I had charged it up right and I always did but it still didn't have the muscle to start my tractor maybe you can see the uh, voltage reading we get 12.19 so it's a, it's a tad bit low for what it should be we'd be looking we'd be wanting something 12.3 to 12 12.7 so 
I think I want to start with this battery and use our, our new tool to analyze it. I already know its condition pretty much based on experience. I'd like to see what the, the King Boland battery analyzer will do. So let's hook up the, the leads, positive, negative to negative, and positive to positive. The instructions tell you if you if you mix if you hook it up incorrectly, it'll be okay. Um, it's got a, a safety; you won't damage the tool. Um, so our opening screen. By the way, this does not require batteries. You don't have to add batteries. It uses whatever battery voltage in the battery you're testing uh, to run its test. Now I'm going to zoom in on on the on the on the sc display screen so you can see what I see, and hopefully that'll be clear to you. All right. So we got check, records, waveform, and setup, and we're going to go with, uh, we're just going to go with check, so let's press OK. 6 volt or 12 volt, so we have to choose. We'll toggle down to 12 volt and go OK. Quick test, in vehicle test, out of vehicle test. So let's scroll down to out of vehicle. OK. Select the battery type, and this is where I told you there's, there's plenty of battery types of which I'm not familiar but you got to know what kind of battery you're testing. Regular flooded is what we have. That's your standard wet cell automotive or lawn tractor battery. Uh, do some research if you want to learn some of these other gel batteries, um, enhanced flood battery. So different types, but regular flooded is the main one that I'll be dealing with with the kind of work I do. All right, so now we're going to battery type, cold cranking amp. So that's what we're going to choose because I see on the battery that we're testing that information. So now we have to use the up and down arrows to enter the cold cranking amps for which our battery is related. And I see on the top of the battery it says 340. So let's scroll up. Each click takes you by 5. So there's 340 again. Okay, so there's our test. Results are in already. Oh boy, they're not happy with us. So it is scrolling the word replacement, giving us that high pitch, <laughs> unhappy sound, and telling us that we're at 30% health. Let's scroll down to the next screen. Okay, it's got 8% capacity. So this, this battery's done, and it's telling us to replace it. All right already, enough. Okay. Okay, that's not a surprise to us. I love how instantaneously I got those results. You know, but I left this in my tractor and had to jump it a couple of times. If I had had this tool, I would have known immediately, time to replace this battery. That is really interesting. It told us exactly what I expected it would tell us, and it did so instantly. So that's pretty cool. All right, so the next battery we have up on the workbench came out of a Honda Odyssey that I own. And the battery uh, manufacture date is January, I see it on the top, January of 2020. So it's four years old. I haven't used it for about a year. I changed out the battery at the same time I was changing the alternator in our 2008 Honda Odyssey. So I expect that this battery will, you know, test out okay. So let's hook up. Our battery analyzer, uh, negative to negative, positive to positive. All right, it powers on. We're just going to do what we did before. Hopefully, you'll be able to see the screen as I, if I zoom in on it. Okay, you ready? So check. We're going to check it. It, it's a 12 volt battery. It's out of the vehicle. It's a regular flooded battery. It's a standard wet cell that most uh, automobiles have, at least the <laughs> automobiles of the vintage that I drive. This again came out of a 2008, so we'll go with that. And it's a season, cold cranking amps is the, the, the way it's rated, and it's a 6 hundred so we're gonna hold press and hold the up arrow till we can get up to six hundred cold cranking amps and now when I hit OK it should start our it should start our test.
Okay, green, that's happy. So the battery health is 91%, it rates as good. Cold cranking amp rating here is 572 out of the 600 for which it's rated, so that's pretty good. We'll scroll with the down arrow. It's at 71% capacity, and that still is good. I think if it were to get down to 40%, uh, percent, then we'd start thinking about replacing it. Uh, and it's testing out at 12.4 volts. So this battery is good, and I could still have confidence in it if I were to put it back in my vehicle. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And so the main the main usage of this tool is is what we just did. I want to know if a battery is healthy and strong or if it's weak and should be replaced. And even if that's all I ever do with this tool, I'm going to feel pretty happy about that just having it for this alone. All right, we're outside today and this is my son's car. It's a 2003 Acura MDX. <laughs> And we're going to test out the King Bolin and run some of the tests for the battery, load test, charging test, startup test. So let me get that set up here and uh, try it out. You can see that screen. We're going to, we're going to do the battery test. All right, check. Okay, it's a 12 volter. Please make sure the battery is 12 volts. Yes, and in vehicle, battery test. Please confirm the engine's off. Regular flooded, cold cranking amps, and this is a 600 CCA, so we'll go with that. <coughs> wow, it's telling us replacement. That's really surprising because it's been operating just fine. This is saying health at 3%. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this again. Let's reconnect these. Yes, I'm really surprised at that because we haven't been having any trouble with it. Alright, let's try this again. <coughs> Check. Okay. 12 volts. Quick test. In vehicle. Battery test. Please confirm that the engine is turned off. Regular flooded battery. Cold cranking amps, 600. Now it says normal. 79%. You know what I think might have happened? We may, our, our clamps may not have been tight on a previous test. All right, so it's normal. It's registering 534 out of 600. 79% health rating. 98% capacity and 12.6 volts. All right, that's good. So let's go back and <clears throat> we're gonna try some of the other tests. Uh, let's do the startup test. And to do this, I might need to get some help. Startup test, please can please turn off the engine. It's off. Start engine. All right. And there's our test results. Hopefully you can see that. Start load test. Time 883 milliseconds. Starting ability normal. Voltage 9.90 volts. So your biggest battery voltage drop is of course when you go to start it. That's the biggest draw you're ever going to have on your battery. And <clears throat> usually about 9.9 .9 volts is as low as you want it to see 
if it goes much lower than that, probably have a starting issue somewhere. But I think we're good for this test, so I don't know if you can see that screen, but hopefully you can. And we can move on to another test. Okay, let's go ahead and do the load test and zoom in on the device. <clears throat> for this, we need the engine running. So, check 12 volts in vehicle. Load test. <clears throat> Keep 2,000 to 2,500 RPM. <clears throat> All right, we have about 2,000 RPMs. <clears throat> testing good all right excellent let's go and ahead and do the charging test which also is done with the uh, engine running charging test All right, they're showing us a waveform. <clears throat> I think I think we need the uh up oh, it's testing. Start the engine, keep 2500 to 3500 RPM. All right. <clears throat> we got 3000 RPM. All right, so that tested fine too. And uh, the results are normal. So our battery's fine, even though it's a little bit older. And uh, starting system's fine. The uh, charging system's fine, load tested. So everything with this battery is good. And uh, that's great. It's a great little tool. All right, guys. I think that's it. I want to thank you for watching this video. I think we did a pretty good job with the uh, King Boland Battery Analyzer, Battery Systems Analyzer. And uh, probably has, definitely has, a lot more features than I'll probably ever need. For me, the main thing I want to do with this is plug it onto a battery just to see if it's good or not, if it needs replacing. That alone makes this tool so valuable and so worth it. Probably won't have a lot of use for the other tests, starting test, load test, charging system test. But, hey, if you do that kind of work very much on automobiles, this is really, really going to help you out. So, I don't know, $26.99, I think it's definitely worth it. And uh, you can use the link in the description if you want to get one for yourself. I want to thank you for watching the video. Your comments and questions are always appreciated in the discussion below. It was a lot of fun, and I'm going to look forward to doing something else like this again with you on our next video. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.